Hi guys, Flyplanes here, and today we're going to do another video on War Thunder. And a lot of people want to know how you unlock research and get loads of money quickly. But there is quite, I've got quite a few ways on how you can do it. But I'm not the best War Thunder player because I had a old account, but I um, actually, well, forgot the password to it, and I was just like, damn. And it was actually quite good, and it had the Lancaster, and it had like the jet bomb, and what's it, the British one, um, uh, yeah, the Cabrera, look, if you, this, this, yeah, well, it's not the best, but it's actually quite good, and uh, a lot of people want to know how you get it, so yeah, I've said that quite a few times anyway, um, so, first of all, you can get premium, which will give you 100% more research, and I think it's about £6 for a month, and that's quite good. And either way, if you don't want to do that, you can spend it on high-tier high planes that are probably above tier 5 like these but there's a problem with buying these because if you it's, it's cost 7,000 golden eagles and if you let's say buy it and you don't like it there's no going back but if you buy the premium account it will only be available for a month or it's only for a month depending on how much you buy it for and it's just not the best thing to do because you're just wasting it so and yeah so if there's also one um, where you just like well the easiest game mode if you want to do it is probably air arcade because you can respawn and like air realistic and I don't really like simulator battles, they're just too hard or whatever. And Air Assault Arcade also gives you really good stuff and it can help you grind better because you can get trophies for it. Well, custom battles don't do anything, but that is actually a good method on how to do it. So, I'll just catch you guys when I get my next tip. Bye. Tip, And this tip is, well it's not really a tip, but a thing. And it's just... If you go on the bombers, and most bomber pilots, well, like me, we I go high and try and bomb targets, but there is um, a better way to do it. If you go low, and you'll gather more speed so you can bomb more targets, and that'll mean that you can also take down some planes that may be on your tail, there may be, or, yeah, there may be planes on your tail, and then you can use your support gunners and take them out, or you can have them in auto. And let's say, well, I haven't really got any of the Americans, but if you've got a P-47 or a, or let's just say, you, let's just say you've got a P-39, and you're the first person on your team, and you've got a quite a bad let's just say for example a Japanese plane like a A5 or a key 10 or whatever and there's a on your team you've got a, a P36 G Hawk and let's say he's flying at the same altitude as that other guy and you think oh yeah that's just a really easy kill you're gonna go get it but it's not a good tactic to just go and get the kill straight away because you can let that guy handle it and he's almost certainly going to get that kill maybe not but he's probably going to get that kill and when he's got the um, that leaves you cruising at well let's say you're cruising at 5000 feet and that will just if you're cruising at 5000 feet you can take out the high ranked German planes that will get you a lot more things like the what is it, the Fucker, the Fucker Wolf Fucker Wolves, which are decent and you're going to get quite a few more points for taking them out and 
you're going to have a better battle time. And also, let's just say you're playing Aerialistic, which is not the best game mode to do, but those games normally last for about 30 20 minutes, and that's just going to take ages, and it's just not going to be like right for it and it's just and you're probably gonna get like one or two kills in it and it's probably a lot easier if you go on a arcade and go in with your like your hurricane or something and you've got your hurricane or whatever and it's just you're just gonna get a lot more points and it's just gonna be a lot better for you and it's just gonna be a lot easier for you to get it so and well yeah so it's just going to be a lot better than if you go with a bomber at a very high altitude and it's and well i haven't got really good planes that much the best plane of course probably this anyway okay so let's say if you're playing as a um let's say you're starting off and you're a new plane and you just want to know new pilot and you just want to know oh my god how do I grind how do I get better planes so you will start off with 200 golden eagles or 250 if you click on download it on the link below which I've put in the description okay anyway so you've got that many golden eagles and it's just gonna and then you can spend that on research like research RP convertible or convertible research this one and I've got quite a lot of that but that costs golden eagles to convert and you're probably going to run out of them quite soon and you're just going to be like oh no I've run out now so oh well, yeah so you're going to have to like my advice is to um, keep them for the later planes and not spend them on the earlier planes like I did but anyway I, I well yeah and it's just not going to be worth it and you're just going to regret it later so I'll catch you with my third tip, or well, not really tip, but hint, um, soon. Hi guys, we're back and we're on with our third tip. And today I'm going to, well not today, but anyway, we're going to be showing you what the best starting planes for the countries is. So for America, well it will help you grind a lot quicker, or well, this will help you grind a lot quicker because you've got the best plane and you can easily get worse planes with like better shots so for America I personally think that the well if you want to pay it's obviously going to be the or well, the lower one is the P38 but if you're gonna get any probably get the Grizzly or something Anyway, so the P-38 is a really good plane that's um, used in quite a lot of games because it's very well known. And if you're not going to pay, it's probably going to be... Is this it? Oh. oh. Okay. Anyway. It's still this... Well, it's going to be the... You have the P-38XP, whatever there. But the P-38... Where is it? Here, this one. This is a really good plane that's used if you're like, if you're in low ranks, this is a really good plane to use because it can easily shoot down and intercept and destroy other vehicles. So moving on to Germany, there we go. it's probably the, well, the BF109s, like these ones, because these, um, they might be adding a tutorial on them because they're really good planes but not very many people know how to use them anyway these this is a really good line to do because it gives you quite a lot of good things and anyway yeah this is as i say moving on to soviets well i haven't done much on soviets but soviet planes basically any soviet plane that's that and if you're a decent pilot when you're starting off, any, well not any, but most of the these planes, the starting planes, are actually really good and would be really good for starting people. So, let's go on to Britain. So I personally love the Spitfire, which is one of my favourite planes. 
and I'm just trying to like research so I can get the sterling and then the because anyway so um, the Spitfire because the path is really good and then you eventually will end up with the Meteor which is a really good um, like fighter plane for the British and it can basically outwit most other planes if you're a decent pilot so let's go on to Japanese well it's sort of like the Soviets because their their planes are well, most of them are really, really good, and will, um, well, get you grind, be able to grind really well. Oh, oh, oh! This is the plane they've been talking about. Okay, anyway, and then Italy. I don't really know because I haven't been playing much, but I've been told that it's um, the starting good plane is this one, the Breda 88. Um, moving on to France, I've done a bit on the bombers because I've seen videos and they're actually quite good so anyway so if you're starting off I suggest that you start use this because this is a really good plane and it's a heavy fighter also as a strike fighter which is quite good so yeah so that's about it so thank you for watching if you're new to the channel can you subscribe and like this video and comment what videos or games you want us to play next. Bye!